ABC News exclusive. Olympic gold medalist Peekaboo Street speaking out for the first time about the fight with her father that led to domestic violence charges. She sat down with ABC's Matt Gutman. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. After that humiliating dust up with her father and that arrest, Peekaboo tells me she now has nothing to hide. And over the course of a couple of hours, the skier known for furiously charging down a mountain showed us what she has never revealed publicly her vulnerability. Peekaboo Street was an American sweetheart rocketing downhill right into our living rooms. Winning world championships, Olympic gold in 1998, and American hearts. Get the healing power. She seemed to have it all. But that arrest and that mugshot for the first time revealing a dark secret. This has been a long road. And even in, at the pinnacle of my career, I'm in. Nagano, Japan. I've just won my Olympic gold medal. And I realized, oh my goodness, it's been an hour and a half and I haven't seen my dad. And I just, that pit in my stomach, it's like, no, not here. Not here. My dad's bonked. Bonked, what has bonked me? Bonked is the term the family coined to refer to her father Ron's fits of rage just before he went into diabetic shock. His bonking had been a family secret until December 23rd of last year. I put him downstairs. I don't know what he's doing. What do you mean you put him downstairs? Peekaboo's mom, Dee, was slated to have double hip replacement surgery that day. There was a blizzard out, but nearing diabetic shock again, Ron, who was living in Peekaboo's house under her care, decided to drive his wife to the hospital himself. Instead, he drove into a snowbank, bumping the house. As soon as I got in front of him and he made eye contact with me, I was like, oh boy. I need to get him in the house as soon as possible. There was nobody home. There was in the nobody eyes. home, right? He's, he eyed up on me and his eyes were all glazed over. While she tries to get him into his apartment downstairs, he grabs fistfuls of her hair. And so we were right above the stairwell to downstairs. I then just wrapped my arms around the back of his shoulders and I just barrel rolled. They tumble down six stairs to the next landing. He has cuts on his neck and elbow. The thing is that. From the call, it seems like you threw him down the stairs. <laughs> that you were still in the top landing and that yeah. he had just rolled down, but you... We, all, we went together. Yeah, I actually have a lump on my shin that will probably never go away from hitting the railing on the way down. Peekaboo says she ran back upstairs calling 911. Her mother heard in the background. My father just tried to attack me in my own house in front of my children. He attacked you. Both mother and father telling police that Peekaboo was the aggressor. And as they're putting you into the squad car, you must be thinking that all of this is crumbling around you. Yeah, my whole world is crumbling around me. Because you're the breadwinner not only for your three kids, but also for your parents exactly. at this point. I have been the breadwinner since I was like 15. She was arrested on charges of assault and three counts of domestic violence. Those charges dropped after her father filed an affidavit taking responsibility for the fight. What was so revealing about those affidavits? Just the frustration level of my dad of going from being the Superman of the family to kind of almost feeling like one of my kids. I just grabbed him and gave him a big hug. And I said, I get it. I get it now. And I'm sorry that you're hurting so much. Now are you going to let me take care of you? There are tens of millions of Americans in that so-called sandwich generation, both caring for their parents and their children like Peekaboo. She says when she struggled with her father's condition, she felt alone, isolated, but says her arrest helped her learn that there is help out there and she hopes to help others find it. Robin. Hope you can do that. All right, Matt. Thank you.